ahead of the Capital One Cup final, I have the pleasure of interviewing Blackburn Rovers manager Matthew Hall once again. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Martin. Have you shaved that beard off yet? That silly little bit. Oh, you have. Okay. Yeah, I have. Hang on a minute. I thought you were a radio presenter. I'm, no, I'm, I'm doing TV as oh, well okay. now. Now, Matthew, I just need to remind you that we are live. And so you need to curtail your language because we all know what happened last time. Yes, I know this is live. I know this is live. Don't worry, I'm not going to swear. I'm not going to say anything stupid to incriminate myself. Don't worry. It's all, it's all fine. You can trust me. You can trust me. The question on everyone's lips right now, Matthew, is are you looking forward to going head-to-head -head with Paul Clement for the first time since him leaving his role as assistant manager at Blackburn Rovers? Yeah. First time me and Paul have met since he left the traitor. It's not too strong for live, is it? No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're, we're hopefully going to batter the absolute shit out of his championship Ipswich side. Right, Matthew, we've we've warned you about your language. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I apologise profusely, viewers. You've got to appreciate it. It's a cup final. There are heated emotions currently emanating from Wembley. And one last question before we go. We need to interview Paul. It's interesting how fate would pit you against your former assistant yeah. in a cup final. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing what can happen when you let the narrative of a football manager save just carry on naturally and not interfere with it in any way. Hello folks and welcome to Return of the Rovers where you join us for a momentous occasion it's the Carling Cup no Capital One Cup final against Ipswich and as the intro suggested we are against Paul Clement our former assistant manager so he knows nothing about how we're gonna play because we changed everything see there's a benefit for changing your mind about tactics I've just found it it's fine look all doled up I say all doled up we've got a pocket square Yep, matching tie and pocket sweat. Oh. I've got a stain on my tie. But we have some matters to deal with before we get to the cup final. The bright little buttons of you lot will have noticed there's an Australia flag, well, a flag. It's the Australia flag. I'm now the Australia manager because Japan wasn't enough of a task. But don't worry, I've checked. I've checked everything. Look, see? Uh, hang on, where, where are they? Where, where are all the players? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? So he checked everything. There's at least, there's three goalkeepers, bare minimum. It's fine. It's fine. We can now register a squad for the Asia Cup or some other bollocks cup. But yeah, we'll, we now need to think of a, a name, an alliterative name for that little interject that we'll do. But our focus is on the Capital One Cup final, so We'll bring you that in another episode, and when we've actually got some games. It's been a while since we last had the pleasure of one another's company, and in that time we've made two signings. First signing on a permanent deal is Ricardo Kishner. I can't remember where I've, I haven't talked about him before, have I? I think I've talked about him before. Anyway, he's had a booming start to his Blackburn career. Look at, look at those average ratings. 8.53 in the league. 7.8 in the in the FA Cup, which is just well, obscene, absolutely, absolutely making words up as we go. Absolutely obscene. Very rarely do January transfers pay off, and this one has gone gangbusters. The one I don't think you knew about, though, was the signing of Mateus Kranvitter on loan from Barcelona of all teams paying him next to nothing which is jolly good because he's had an absolute shocking start 6.7 in three games decent pass completion but not quite the impact we had suspected for someone who's worth 15 million pounds so since the last episode we've faced Charlton again beat them 
narrowly in the FA Cup. We then avenged our loss to West Ham earlier in the season with a 3-0 home win. Then a, a lacklustre draw to Stoke and then bloody hell, a complete and utter collapse against Aston Villa. Joel Poen Palo, yes, that's amazing pronunciation. Yes, you can buy me all the cookies in the world. I will eat them all. Though maybe not because this suit won't fit. Where he scored four, he took the complete and utter piss out of Jesus Vallejo. In fact, we were ju just had a complete off date. Beat Norwich in the fifth round of the FA Cup 3-1 at home. Let's look at our opposition, shall we? Let's have a look. Paul Clement, my nemesis. We're at Ipswich right now. 11th in the championship. How the bloody hell did they manage to get to a final? This is a final we are heavy favourites for. We're challenging for Europe at the moment. Actually, that's a point. I've completely glossed over the fact. I've completely glossed over our league form. We're bloody sixth. We've got a game in hand. Despite that horrendous loss to Villa that we'll not mention again. If, we're to, if we win our next game, that puts us up into fourth. Bloody Champions League shit. This is insane. Odin Nagalo's sort of got half a foot on the golden boot. Because he can't touch it with his hands because it's handball. That's bad. That's really bad. What am I doing? So, despite being the home team, we are wearing our away strip. What is this absolute bollocks? Well, Paul Clements obviously paid. This may be a cut funnel. I'm not singing the national anthem because of, well, I don't know it. And I've been told that my singing isn't great. We have gone with a very strong team. We want this silverware. This guarantees us a spot in Europe. So, we line up with Donnarumma in goal, Georgi Shenikov, Mitrovic and Spendelhofer as the centre-back pairing with Carl Walker on the right. Kasper Kusk, Christopher Olsen, Bruno Zuccolini and Kishner make up the midfield with Zach Clough and Odi Nagalo making our little strike partnership. Both have been in the goals a lot recently and I hope they will continue to do so today. I am not even going to bother going through Ipswich's team because I have that little respect for Paul Clement. The traitorous little toad. He's probably not that little. Traitorous toad. There we go. You deserve to win the trophy and I expect you to win it. F***ing yes, I do. There we go. We've got some motivation because... I've recorded the other episode before the poll had answered come back. I'm going for a combination of 2D and 3D. So everyone's happy, right? Everyone's happy. Everyone is happy. I'm happy. This cup final starts and Mitrovic with a great interception. This is how we want to start, boy, on the front foot, I was going to say. Kishner with a corner. Cleared by Chambers, only pulls as far as Kusk on the outside of the area, plays in Kishner. What can Kishner do? Plays it back to Kusk. Luke Hyam gets in front, Clough, and Biakovsky, or Biakovsky makes a save. That was a, a big chance, and now Ipswich have their own corner. Freddie Sears, we've got to get rid of it here. Bloody hell, bloody hell, and well, that's another corner. We have not dealt with that well. Not dealt with that well. Well, I say we, we haven't conceded, but Jesus. Zuccolini with the header. Olsen, can you finish this off? Get rid. Ball. Uh, Clough is beaten in the air, but he gets a second bite of that cherry. Plays a great ball into Agalo. Agalo, no support. The ball drops as far as Kusk, and then it's cleared, but only goes as far as Mitrovic, and that's the end of the... Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I thought I slowed these down. Agalo nods it on to absolutely no one. Christoph Berra tries to deal with it. Falls to Kusk. Kusk only needs to square it. He's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. Why did you not square that? We need to be clinical, and we're not. This is not helping. Spendelhofer, uh, and he's wide. He's not wide, he, his shot went wide. That, that's very neat of me. Clough, he's in from the free kick. Can he do something with it? No, but the ball falls just about to Walker, who plays the ball into Agalu. Clough falls to Clough. Kishner goes for the shot. He should have gone for the cross. Prick. Olsen now with the ball, plays it. Back to Zuccolini to make space. Walker on the overlap or underlap, whichever lap, lappy lap. Kusk with a shot and it's cleared by Hyam, possibly, or Chambers, one of the two. Let's let's do that. Work the ball into the box, ladies and gentlemen. 
Luke Hyam takes down Cusk with it. Is he off? That's two foot. He's gone. Well, this ha why does this happen every time? I fan you around and then... Spendelhofer, Kishner, put it in. Oh, bloody hell. So basically, their goalkeeper is having an absolute blinder as you rejoin me at half time and we're struggling to break him down. Which is just tremendous, isn't it? Just bloody tremendous. Right, Samu, take the take the team talk. Oh, well, you, that's not gone very well, has it? Right, assert it. No, calm. Let's do calm. They seem to be appreciative of that. Now just f***ing do something. They are playing very deep here. We're struggling to get in behind. Zuccolini sprays the ball out wide. Falls to Walker. Kishner. Clough. One of you. Kishner, you filthy bitch. Don't know why that makes him a filthy bitch. But finally, we have broken the deadlock. 1-0 to the Rovers. And here we see it in 3D. Walker nods it down to Kishner. Plays it into Clough. Chambers gets there before Clough. I think the ref may have played advantage there, actually. And Kishner, though, beats Biakoski at his near post, and all is well and good. Olsen on the ball, plays a wide ball out, a wide ball, a ball out to Kishner. Walker goes for the shot, ball falls to Kishner. Olsen, bless oh, I've changed it. I've changed his name every single time. The Polish goalkeeper playing for Ipswich. I've got an itchy ear. Which is, which is excellent. Oh, obviously, from all those fans chanting my name because we're currently winning, right? No, okay. Don't be mean to me. That's not very nice. Freddy Sears. This is a rare venture forward for Ipswich since going down to 10. Slazai. Slazai. Oh, why, what is it with these ridiculous names? If we exited Europe, all of these players would not be playing in England right now. That would make it so much easier for me. Hang on a minute. Hang on a, hang on a, 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 I was going to say hang on a chicken. Doesn't work, does it? Zach Clough, not had a great game, so on comes Juan Cazares. On comes Vice Vice Baby. Shenikov, into Kusk. All that changes haven't been major. This is with the existing lineup. Zuccolini into Kishner, lets the ball run past his body, plays the ball in, Clough, yes, there we go, that will hopefully seal it, the 76th minute, Clough knocks it in and he's just replaced by, yeah well, his reward is to be replaced by Juan Cazares, Juan Cazares, and for a 3D highlight, Kishner, great knock in, and then Clough slams it in at the near post, having timed his run to absolute perfection. The Ipswich defenders are all at sea, completely missed the ball. Happy days. We've moved to control for the last 10 minutes or so. Can we get a third to put some icing on that celebratory cake? Made, made a mess of that. Vice, Igalo, and there is the icing on that cake. Now let's get a cherry. We're making cakes. It's called football cooking. We're going to go with that. Vice with a ball in. First time, Cazare is beaten in the air by Pearson. Vice with a second try and then Agarlo. Almost a carbon copy of the goal that Clough has just scored. And with those changes, the game is completely turned. Vice with a corner. Spendelhoff at off. Just wide with that header. I can hear it calling me. I can hear it. I can hear it calling me. This will hopefully be the last kick of the game. And it is. There we go. We have won the Capital One Cup. Where's the celebrating? Why is there no celebrating? They, they just don't care, obviously. Uninterested and complacent. Absolute bastards. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So we're in bloody Europe next season. Right, right. Let's forget the rest of this bollocks. I'm off to celebrate. Doing a... What? I'm, sorry, guys. I'm just going to... I'll be back in a minute. Just, just going for a victory lap. Victory lap's over. It was, it was great. I've got sweat and everything. Absolute motherfucking scenes and not a dick joke in sight. Who would have bloody thought it? 102k for winning it. Are you... What? Is this a joke? Is this an actual joke? Bloody hell, I completely forgot about that run-in at the end of the season. Man City, Chelsea, Everton. 
just just for just for shits and giggles. If you've enjoyed this episode of Return of the Rovers, then please tickle that like button as you have been doing. If you're new here and you haven't seen any of my other videos, please go back, have a look. In fact, I might even put a card up to help you because I'm nice like that. And if I've done enough to convince you to stick around, then please subscribe. But for now, folks, it's goodbye from me. Thanks for watching. Bloody hell, we're in Europe. Oh, f We're going to have to sign a lot more players. Anyway, I'm going to do another victory lap, so see you later.